Andre, aka Suko. And I am Conley, aka Conley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I grew up in a warehouse, it's a legendary place, King Jammy Studio. Me for one, start working the song, and then automatically, when you start working the song, he will give you a job if you're not working. First time I try going to the studio, then lock me out. out. <laughs> <laughs> they lock me out and back a ratchet knife for me and say, where me I go? So I say, alright, so one day I said to the Jammies, more I learn how to produce. And him said, that you want to do, you are working at the studio? Alright, Monday morning come, 9 o'clock. And you can start your studio work. And my first day of work, I was there with Jamies from, let me reach her from about 8.30. And my dad with him till about 2.30 the next morning. And that was my first day of work, from 9.30 till 2.30 the next morning. So like when you were learning there, basically you, just, you guys were just in there working and then you just kind of watch and yeah, see. Yeah, and yeah, The actual teaching, He's not asking questions or a king every day you go there. King is like, yo, this is what you do and yeah. you know, no. None of that. You watch and see what each track does. Each channel and the mixer is for something. And then you're already used to two other channels because you have to use two other channels plus the mic channel, plus the master. So eventually you now, studio is a bigger mixing board, but this is not the sound system. But there are still channels. A kick is in that channel, a snare is in that channel, a height is not. I always try to tell people yeah. when they look on it, it's like, yo, you don't be confused, just look at one. You just need yeah. to learn one. Just learn one. Once you learn one, you learn the whole board. Because once you know what one channel do, you learn the whole, the whole board, basically. You know, what Jamies used to do when we were there, Jamies used to sit down around the mixing board and they have one man operate the tape machine and one man at the patch bay. Patch bay yeah. And if Suko there at the patch bay, Suko operate the, the effects also. Effects, so. Him have you there doing that, but we are there watching him. And that's how we learn basically. Yeah. Enough of them not like we to make crew a slam choice uh, And if you love the rhythm in the ear your hand be high okay. We drop the yell teeth and that really not suffice uh -huh. And if them think we're done we are gonna give them a surprise When you were doing the mentally disturbed 45s mm -hmm. That was like an early exposure to what you guys were doing And it, to me, it sounded so different from everything I was hearing You know, it really, I mean like you guys said You kind of took things up a level there What was your kind of thinking in doing that? Were you consciously trying to make a break from what was going on or you just we were consciously trying to not sound like everybody else yeah we were experimenting a lot with sounds and lyrics we were trying to not sound like everybody else and i guess oh well, look it worked <laughs> even <laughs> though every time we make a, a production we try to not we sound try like to everybody not else. sound like everybody else. i always uh, one thing we always do we always try to keep the roots of dance on. in in whatever we do, no care how futuristic it sounds, there's always the rule there. Mock them a mock, chat them a chat. You chat too much where you have to fly, you don't pay bad. The Bada Bada gang consists of Tifa. Timberley is away now because she, she went back to finish school. There's also Natalie Storm, and there is D1.0, CK, and new protege Marcy Chin. Our belief is that. A boom song is a boom song regardless of who's singing, yeah. yeah. regardless of the them, artist. From the song the sound good, the song sound good. And if a young artist can make a boom song, I'm alright with that. It don't have to be Bounty Kill and it don't have to be Beanie Man or a Cartel or Mavado. We get a certain sense of satisfaction when we know we help somebody else. Yeah. Because we got a lot of help from King and his family. I mean, one thing I noticed which is interesting is you guys like to work with a lot of female artists, which is not so common in dancehall. The reason why we work with a lot of female artists is because the woman them voice sound sweet and we love make music with sound sweet and there's almost zero ego with the ladies now them ready them, they, first of all them so happy forget it because hardly anybody voicing them so when them get the opportunity for, for voice them jump at it you see me and normally them bring them best food forward and it always work out no stress oh yes stress free We've had now, what is it, 30 years of dance hall, encompassing everything from Slang Tang and the early, or even, you know, all the band stuff before that. You guys era, the new sort of super synthy kind of thing that's going on. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, we know about Nipsey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, know. Yeah. Um, Elect- <laughs> electronic. I don't know. You know but I mean, I, lo- I love. Electro- it. Let's call it electronic dancer. Electronic dancer. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I mean, I love that stuff too. You know, but can we still call it all dance hall? Like, what is it that makes it all dance hall? You know. What made them say? Them incorporated that dance as just the main fact that is Jamaica to come from. Mm-hmm. And it has the DJ, the dance hall DJs on it. But the drum the, patterns the, the aren't dance aren't dance hall. The, the synth phrases aren't and dance, dance hall. The only thing in, on it is, that's dance hall is the accents that yeah. the artists. That is just a, it's just a cycle. There's something that happened. Mm-hmm. Transition like new youth, it not really have an identity. It's confusing. Part of the reason why we as producers have an advantage in terms of making the dance hall, the real dance hall, is because we're also artists and we travel. We travel a lot and we go a lot of places and we see what is re- what is requested out there. A lot of these producers, them, I don't know if them travel or not, but we know so them not do them research there. Every beat that's made, the like how fresh it might sound, it's coming from something. Because music is just one Every big Every has already been played. Every putter. Every drum putter has already been played. Yeah. Me honestly believe that. The even sling thing, sling thing was played back way back. He just started us now. Probably like no, if you probably are listening something like one of them old ska or something R and B or something rock and roll, you mm. might hear that. I probably that, a Japan it come from. Cause <laughs> yeah. Sony keyboard. Uh, you know. he, so somebody a Japan program it. <laughs> and he just ran that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's just, he just yeah. ran the keyboard. Yeah, slow it down. Last question, advice to young producers and, and artists coming up. Make sure you love it. If yeah. you don't love it, don't do it. If you want to think about the dollar sign, don't do it. Make sure you love it. Don't if you do don't it. have love, then it don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm similar to the killer, no, no, he lost. Step through your window, cover your face with the pillar. Bad man, them a gorilla, for your house to villa. Out of your chest, blood that's pillar. Shut off your villa. I like. 80s rock, that big hair and spandex rock, <laughs> <laughs> twisted sister. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Dub Spot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.